Hi, I'm Dave Klein, and this is my late night. Meet Dave Klein. If you go to the university dining halls, you may recognize him. He works nearly every shift. Considered by his peers one of the hardest working people on campus, Dave is what we call a dining hall fiend. He spends nearly every waking moment there, and it has become his life. Think of the dining hall, do you think of Dave Klein, and why? I do, because he works every shift. Like, he subs everyone's shift. Yeah, he's always here. It's like his second life. It's like his only life. You never see him out. Never. Would, would you say, what percentage of your life now would you say is consumed by your work here at the dining hall? Oh, that's tough. Um, I'd say about 30 to 40 percent is working and dining. I think last year was maybe 50 percent, but given the amount of work I have to do now with school, it's a little less. But yeah, about 30, 35 percent. And how many hours a week do you, would you say you work? 20 hours a week, consistently. 20 hours a week. While it's clear that Dave is a workaholic, it hasn't had any effect on his ability to supervise his students and make friends at the same time. You know, Dave is really a great employee. He's always around. He loves to substitute on shifts. He is fun to work with. He's everywhere at once. He's a million people at one place. It's just, it's incredible he's capable of. First three shifts working at the dining hall my freshman year were in the morning at late night e-champs and Dave and I were the only two on the shift and I stood there and did absolutely nothing and he did all of the work by his lonesome without a supervisor and it was fun. We covered everything on our own and now he's one of my best friends and when he's my supervisor, I love coming to work. Um, do you feel a sense of camaraderie with your coworkers? I definitely do. There's a lot of joking around. There's a lot of talking about the weekend and sports and everything. And you know, people are very interactive here, and it helps out. It helps to work in an environment like that. Do you find it difficult to supervise some of your friends that you've made here as a as a superior with the orange stripe? It is a lot harder. You know, I mean. Uh, several times I've been asked to write up students that are my friends that I wouldn't normally write up on my own because you know I know them very well but you definitely have to sometimes set, set those relationships aside and uh, you know be able to do your job and do what's right. And you know out of all the employees in the dining hall, and we're talking hundreds of employees here, Dave is one of the most well known amongst all of them. He really works hard, he loves coming to work, he has a fun time while he's here and I think everyone would really appreciate that. He's a good friend to have. He's always friendly and asks me how my day's going, so yeah, yeah, I have nothing bad to say. Very satisfied with his customer service. I feel like there are definitely, you know, some people who work there you don't really interact with. You just like check out and go, but it's nice when someone like takes the time to ask you know, how about you your day. Yeah. Um, what would you say is your favorite part of working here? Uh, my favorite part of working here is the overall um, atmosphere. It's a lot of young people, college students working here and you're able to interact with them and talk to them, socialize, and then, you know, most of them I do hang out with outside of work, so building those relationships. And then also just, you know, working in general, keeping yourself busy and uh, this developing, you know, a sense of work ethic. Dave Klein's relentless work ethic and kind personality has allowed him to establish himself as a truly remarkable person at the University Dining Hall, and this is why he has become the man of late night.